I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just uh, came out of the shop. It's a 1970 Yamaha G5, which I've had great success with Yamahas over the years. They're, they're awesome pianos. And a lot of, I get a lot of people coming through the door that are looking specifically for Yamahas, and, and for good reason. I mean, Yamaha's done a great job building, building pianos, but they've also done a great job building up, that, building up their name and, and establishing that reputation as, as a name that can be trusted. Okay, so this, this particular uh, G5, um, so it's, it's six foot five, which is pretty good size, not, not enormous like, like this one here. Get it just out of, for comparison, I suppose, get a shot of this one. This one's a concert grand, nine foot, hardly even fits in the, in the frame. And then this one, six foot five, so it's, a, it's, it's for a... Um, you know, it'll it'll fill fill a large space. This could um, be for well. I, I actually have a nine foot piano in my house, but so I I, I say the bigger the better. Uh, so this this piano it it could it could work for a smaller living room, but but if it was in a large living room or or even something bigger like a like if you're a, watching this as a uh, like a representative for an institution, this piano could work on a on a stage as well, for sure. It has that power and projection. Okay, uh, 1970. Uh, so this this piano needed a fair amount of work. We refinished it. Let, why, don't, why don't you get a shot of the lid and everything? It's all done in that satin finish. So so from a finish standpoint, it's an a bordering on A plus, maybe not quite A plus, but the refinishing job is really, really good. So be hard pressed to find any issues that detract from that A plus. Uh, okay, and and uh, we did we did a lot of work in here as well. So the soundboard had uh, had a lot of cracks in it. So when we restrung it. We've repaired all of those cracks. You can you can see the repairs in there. Those are not cracks. That's where that's where we've taken out material with a router, and put in new soundboard little shims, glue glue them in there, and it kind of seals everything back up. So that soundboard is back to to functioning as as a one unit. You know, it's a it's an amplifier. It moves air, and so so when you seal all that up, it it uh, restores its ability to do that. I can't. I can't remember if we, we we probably we probably found some areas where we where we re glued re glued ribs as well, so that that again just just makes that soundboard function as as one unit, and that's something that we do on a daily basis is that kind of soundboard and and rib work. This piano didn't need any bridge work. The bridges are in perfect condition, uh, but but we do that as well. Incidentally. Okay, it's got all new strings. That that was that was part of the part of the operation. All those strings are brand new. We did not refinish the uh, plate, so the plate is is original 1970. I would say I would say the plate is uh, well, plate plate is strictly um, it, it's just a big chunk of cast iron. So so. There's there's no decline in function there. It's just a cosmetic thing that that it um, that it kind of has a little bit of a uh, splotchy look slightly, but it's not terrible. There again, I would I would probably give the plate cosmetically. I'd probably say it's a B plus. And then we polished up these. You know, just it doesn't again. It doesn't do anything. It just it just looks kind of cool. All of those screws and bolts and things you can see in here and they just look nice and then the pins the tuning pins are all all brand new part of the restringing and we torque all of those pins to between 100 and 120 pounds of torque which is the which is the right amount it's maybe airing a little bit on on the side of of tight which is which is where i want it um, hammers, hammers have been reshaped. The, all of the shanks have been repinned. So, so the hammers that come up and hit the strings, the the pin that they that they pivot on, is is the right friction after 
you know, being a 1970 for sure, a piano like this is going to absolutely need to have, have the pinning redone and all of that is done. Full regulation, everything's tightened, lubricated, aligned, and then, and then a full regulation, which gives you the right touch. So this piano also has, a, uh, has an older player that's installed from, not from the original 1970, but, uh, but probably, oh, oh, 20, 30 years after that, something like that. So, and, and we, can, we can upgrade that to a modern player as well. So let's, let's listen to it. It's got a bright, powerful sound, which is what you'd expect for a six foot five. It's got a lot of power in this piano. It's easy, easy to come by that power. Come check it out. See what you think. That piano sounds really nice.